Today we're taking a look at the Spider-Man and Vulture VHS 2 pack. So without further ado, let's crack this open. And here they are out of the package. I will say, this isn't the worst 2 pack, but it's also not the best. There are things that I really like about both of these guys and things that I don't like at all. But we'll get into that later. I think first, we'll check out Spider-Man and then we'll get into Vulture here. Okay, so having a look at Spidey here, I think they absolutely killed the head sculpt. I think this head sculpt is way, way better than the previous animated Spider-Man head sculpt. That thing, I don't know, it looked like a dolphin to me. It looked weird, I didn't like it. I don't actually have that figure. Um, I might get it and get like a custom head for that body because I prefer the blues on the older animated Spider-Man figure, but yeah. Overall, this head sculpt is so much better. So that's a big plus for this figure. Um, and we'll move to the shoulders here. This is kind of where a lot of people's problem is with this gap right here, this gapage. <laughs> it's a little bit too intense. I don't know what uh, what Hasbro was thinking with that one. Um, I mean, when, when you stand him back, it's not that noticeable, especially when you look at him from like an upward angle, you can't tell. But if you're checking them out like kind of straight on, it's pretty obvious. I will say though, that I do prefer the silhouette of this body. I forget which body this is. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what, uh, what body reuse this is. Uh, I remember hearing it, but I totally forgot. Um, but I do know it's a reuse sculpt. Yeah, I prefer the shoulder silhouette. Uh, not this part, not the traps, but like how far the shoulders go out and uh, over the uh, Renew Your Vow Spider-Man. This one just, I don't know, looks more heroic. Now, Marvel Legends definitely needs to bring their shoulders higher on the figures. Um, pretty much every figure they need to do that with. But, you know, not thinking about that, I will say I do prefer the silhouette of this one better. Like, he just looks more like a superhero to me. Where the thing that bothered me with the Renew Your Vows Spidey was the uh, kind of the wimpy shoulder look. But I will do a comparison later. But anyways, let's take a close look at a spider here. It's got a cool little spider symbol that resembles the animated one. I think it's pretty close to what it looks like in the show. And even like where there's uh, like no webs cutting across. Pretty sure that's how it was in the show as well. And then uh, coming down here, the, uh, the red and the webs kind of come in tighter on the waist here than on like the Renew Your Vows. Which looks pretty good. Like I said, did I mention? I don't know if I mentioned, but I do like the blue on this more than the Renew Your Vows. Uh, anything, any blue that's lighter than the Renew Your Vows Spider-Man I like. I just feel like the Renew Your Vows, it's too dark. It doesn't look comic accurate to me. When I think of Spider-Man in my mind's eye, he's got lighter blues. And I'd actually prefer maybe a blue even lighter than that. Maybe even closer to like what's on the box here. That would have been a lot better. Um, at least in my opinion. <clears throat> I believe he has the Renew Your, Val Renew Your Vows legs though. I don't th think he has a drop down, no. But I know, I think uh, I had a close look at both of the legs on Renew Your Vows in this one and they look identical. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're the same. And then going to the back here, I love the uh, black outline of the spider here. Obviously not a fan of the hole in the back. It's not the biggest deal for me, but I mean, I would have preferred for that not to be there because there's no there's no use for it to be there that's just what hasbro does though they'll just leave the holes <laughs> and uh the belt looks quite good and yeah that's pretty much spider-man and here we have vulture with his younger face on his younger head which um i will be honest i must have got this two pack for the spider-man i uh i didn't really care for this version of vulture but nonetheless He's still pretty cool. Anyways, yeah, he's got his younger head sculpt on, which looks pretty good with his hair like, kind of brushed back or blown back by the wind, which looks pretty good. And then coming down to his body here, he's got his armor on with, uh, I believe this is, I can't remember the, the episode from the show. It used to be my favorite Spider-Man show when I was a kid, but um, I think this is some kind of gun. I don't know if this is like the gun that takes people's age away, I'm not sure, I um, can't remember, but uh, it's stuck in there, it's molded in there, which is a little bit of a shame, they could have made that come out. And then, uh, yeah, this armor piece is loose, so you can lift it up and kind of see what's going on under here in the shoulders. He's got this, uh, this belt, where I'm guessing 
This is like ammo, ammo for the gun. Might be wrong here. He's got the holes in his arms to plug in his wings. And he's got some more stuff on his legs, ammo maybe, and a strap on this side. And uh, he's got a little bit of claws coming out in his hands here, in both hands. With, uh, I don't know what you would kind of call that kind of green, but it does look pretty good. It's like shiny, like a metallic kind of green. Don't really see any swirling which is a plus. But yeah, that's pretty much him. Not much to him. But I know a lot of you probably got the two pack for this guy. Okay, so for their accessories, we've got Spider-Man's whip hands, and then we've got some more, so like holding, gripping hands maybe for webs and for his other accessory, which is the mask. I think a lot of people are excited and happy to have an unmasked Spider-Man mask so they can display their Spider-Man's unmasked with, uh, with his mask. <laughs> and then we've got a Flash Thompson head from the show, because I think uh, in an episode, Flash wore, his, uh, wore the uh, Spider-Man costume. And then he comes with an unmasked Peter Parker head. And then moving on to Vulture, he comes with his alternate grandpa face, which I'll probably display him with this head. Looks more accurate to Vulture in my mind's eye. And then he comes with his fisted hands. And then he comes with wings. And then his other parts of his wings that go on his upper arm. And that is all the accessories. Here's a quick shot of him with his uh, mask holding hand and his unmasked head with his thwippers on. I wish he came with some web crawling hands, but I guess they saw that you know he got a mask, so gotta take away something. <laughs> but overall, this is a pretty cool displaying option. Um, I might display him like this. I don't know, I kinda like the, the masked head though. So I'll think about that. Overall, I think he looks pretty sick. And here we got Vulture decked out with his wings and his grandpa face. This is definitely how I would display him. Obviously these uh, these wings are reused from I believe the old Vulture figure and the uh, old Falcon figure if I'm not mistaken. Which I don't have either of those figures but from what I've seen I'm pretty sure it's reused. But it does look pretty sick I'm not gonna lie. I could definitely pull this off in my comic shelf. Okay, so for articulation, we pretty much know how this body works, but we'll do it anyways. His head goes up about that far, which is great for Spider-Man, and it would have been great to get some wall crawling hands to go with that neck articulation, but it is what it is. Um, it's got mm, not very much tilt. Uh, full rotation of the head, of course. His arms go up quite high, so that's pretty good. He gets a little bit higher than the T-pose. He can get full rotation, upper bicep swivel, elbows go that far, wrist rotates and hinges. He's got some beautiful butterfly joints that go extremely far back, which is also really good for Spider-Man. And they go about this far forward. Not too bad either. And then he's got an ab crunch, which goes, oh, which goes about that far. I've noticed I've got a little bit of paint chipping from moving the ab crunch, but it's not too bad. And then he goes that far back. So not the greatest, but it works. And then we've got waist swivel. He can not do the splits. How far can he go? That's about as far as he can go. He can kick up about that high. Kick back about that far. He's got upper thigh swivel. Double jointed. Ooh, that's tight. Ugh. Double jointed knees. I've also noticed 
you can see when I pull, a little gaps that kind of happen right there and in the boots. So be careful with uh, posing this Spider-Man. We'll want him to break. He's got boot swivel. He can point his toes that far and that far up and he's got ankle rocker. No toe hinge though, which is a little bit of a bummer. But I mean, hey, if you like the Spider-Man, you could always replace the feet with the Renew Your Bows. And then we've got articulation for Vulture. He looks up really, really well. So those flight poses do work very good with him. Uh, full rotation of the head. We've got some tilt action with Vulture here. Get some serious attitude going right there. His shoulders, this one gets stuck. I'm not sure if it's just mine, but I kind of have to like pull at it pretty hard. And there's a little bit of scuffs that happen right there. So hopefully that doesn't happen to your guys's. The shoulders come up about that high. He has no butterfly joint. Ugh. I'll have to heat this one up. He's got bicep swivel, double jointed, elbows. Probably go a little bit further than that. Come on. Yeah, whatever, good enough. Full rotation of the wrist, wrist hinge, side to side. He crunches pretty far forward, which is pretty good, especially with all this gear in the front. And he goes back about that far. He's got waist swivel, he can kick up about that high. He can kick back about that far. Can he do the splits? He can do the splits better than Spider-Man, which is I don't know about that. Spider-Man should be pulling the splits any day. He's got upper thigh swivel hidden underneath the bands. He's got double jointed knees. No boot swivel on this guy. We can point, point up that high and an ankle rocker. And that's pretty much standard articulation for a vulture. <laughs> Okay, so here's a bit of a comparison with the Renew Your Vow Spidey and this new two-pack VHS Spidey. As you can see, well maybe you can't see, I don't know. I think the shoulders look better on him than they do him. With that being said, obviously the gap looks worse on this one and much better on the Renew Your Vows. So if we can kind of like mesh the two together, it'd be perfect. Obviously I prefer <laughs> Renew Your Vows articulation far more than articulation on this one. But I will say you can pretty much get him in all the you know basic Spidey poses that you want. But I mean, we have this newer buck here that would have been good to have. If they can just take, I don't know, make the shoulders kind of look more like this one on, on the Renew Your Vows, like pop them out more, make them look a little bit less wimpy, that'd be perfect. Overall, I mean, I think they probably should have just went with the Renew Your Vows body with the uh, with this new VHS 2-pack. Because the uh, Symbiote Spider-Man that came in one of the VHS 2-packs had the Renew Your Vows body. So it doesn't really make sense that they went with another buck. But yeah, with that being said, that is my thoughts. I do prefer the blues on this one, though. Should we try head swaps? Okay, let's try head swaps. Oh, this is a custom head, by the way. And I've actually tried putting this head on this, and it didn't fit. So can't do that. But I can take this head off and put this head on. I'll just get my focus right real quick. Okay. There we go. So as you can see, the head is extremely loose, so you probably probably wouldn't want to use it. I guess you could put some blue tack on if you wanted to make it work. But um, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't do it, but maybe you would. Um, I could try putting the original Renew Your Vows head on this body. I'm not sure if it'll fit. Just barely. It's really tight on there. <laughs> Uh, nah. I mean, it does look kind of cool, but uh, it could work for a comic Spidey. I don't know. Maybe that's one of your guys' cup of tea. For me, probably not. Okay, so overall, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's not the best two-pack, but it's not the worst. And it's not the best two-pack out of the uh, animated series line either. I think that would probably go to... Probably the Daredevil. I love that Daredevil. I don't have it, but I've seen it and I want it. So <laughs> that's probably the one I'm gonna get. Um, but with that being said, if you guys wanna complete your VHS packs, then for sure pick this up. Gotta have Spidey, gotta have the Vulture. And um, if you guys are looking for a definitive Spidey, well, I, I can't really say this should probably be your definitive Spidey because 
you know, the Renew Your Vows, despite me having the shoulder problem with it, is a much better figure than this. But if you like the light blues, if you don't need some crazy articulation, it is a great Spidey. And if you are a big fan of the animated series, this is a great head sculpt for that. Um, so it's kind of up to you guys, worth it or not. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. I'd be curious to see what you guys think. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more Marvel Legends. Also, thank you guys for all the views on my last video. I think it's at like 50,000 something views for the uh, Deadpool and Wolverine figures. So thank you guys. Sorry I didn't get to the comments. Uh, I'm going to try to get back to you guys more often. I've just got a lot going on in life, so I haven't really got around to it. But I just want to say thank you and shout out to all of you for supporting the channel. And we're almost at 1,000 subscribers. So thank you guys. And uh, yeah, with all that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.